So what is the future of work? What are some of the trends you're seeing that job seekers should be aware of? So number one, we have organizations that are changing dramatically. Mm -hmm. Because of this change, they're, need, they're in need of leaders. So there is a dearth or a gap in leadership that's being exposed right now that is a result, sort of still a lagging result of the pandemic, yeah. which is the, 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 the middle layer of management is really underserviced. Mm. There are a lot of people who were middle managers that got promoted up to senior management during the pandemic. There are a lot of people who have never been a manager before that have their first management job during a pandemic. Middle management, those layers, boy, they need some people to promote. So what does that mean? It means opportunity for you. When you start in an organization right now, mm -hmm. you're looking for someone who can step into a leadership role. So don't wait for the title to show your leadership abilities. Act like a leader in, in the good way, right? Not in the bad way where you want all the perks and the key to the executive washroom. I mean, <laughs> where you're not afraid to take on additional responsibilities and you're mm -hmm. not afraid to speak up with innovative ideas and solutions, not just identify problems, but identify the solution to that problem. Mm -hmm. Those types of people are going to find themselves moving up and moving into interesting opportunities quickly. So one, take advantage of that gap in, in yeah. middle management. Two, because of that autonomy that the pandemic created, where a lot of us are working independently, or maybe even we're working completely remotely, yes. it's important that you create strong connections with your coworkers. Mm -hmm. Not that you wait for you know, Sally from HR to reach out and say, hey, Greg, hey, Meher, there's going to be a pizza party virtually this Friday. No. Text, call, set up a Zoom, get to know the people you work with, not just what their roles and responsibilities are at work, but who are they as a person? Yes. Get to know the people that you work with and create those connections because whether we are honest about admitting this or not, people work with people they like. For sure. And if you're watching this, there's a good chance you're a likable person. So like other people, connect with other people, mm -hmm. show them you like them. That will help you get promoted and progress throughout work. So the third thing, if you're a leader or if you're looking for a leadership role, there is now a switch that's happening mm -hmm. from a hierarchical uh, thou shalt and thou shalt not type of leadership style to a collaborative style. Yes. And and Meher, I know that you're in uh, the, the university world. Yes. Yeah. So in, in the education sector, decisions are largely collaborative. There's much more collaboration in terms of interdepartmental decisions than you might find in some regular businesses where there's a pretty solid hierarchy. You know, the yes. vice president tells you what the yes. division is going to be doing. Mm. So if you're in that leadership role looking for a new role, or if you aspire to be in a leadership role, Build your collaborative yeah. leadership skills. Work on learning how to get things done without dictating how things are done. These are skills of persuasion, of understanding how to read other people, gauge what it is that their interests are. You can even call the skills of negotiation and help them get what they want while you are also getting what you want. So I think those three things are big trends to be on the lookout yeah. for, and they'll help any job seeker in the future of work. Those are great tips, Gregory. I really appreciate that. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. And for the audience watching or listening, this is the last uh, episode of 2022. I really enjoyed all the videos that we've done. And Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to everyone. And see you in 2023. And again, Gregory, let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. See you next year.